When Sandy slammed against the East Coast in October, it devastated the Rockaway community. Locked in the middle of the peninsula are Auburn and Edgemere, already one of the most impoverished communities in the U.S. Decimated by Sandy, they were all but forgotten following the storm. Save for an eclectic group of strangers who joined with the Action Center and came together to make a difference, who came together and saved lives. This video honors them. The Action Center, a nonprofit working 12 years in the community, were leveled by Sandy themselves. However, they knew they had to act quickly. Adopting a motto of Action Now, Cry Later, employees, many of whom had lost everything themselves, mocked out the center, swiftly opening their doors to the thousands in need. They could not have helped them without a network of strangers who became brothers in arms. I look into your eyes It's like watching the night sky Or a beautiful sunrise There's so much they hold And just like them old stars I see that you've come so far Right where you are, how old is your soul? I won't give up. cities doing everything to have these people rehabilitated. Most of them can't return back to their apartments because their apartments have molding and um, because most of the first floors on, in each of these buildings are flooded, including here. So um, this is work in progress and it's going to take a long time. Frontline soldiers that are standing in the gaps between the have and have nots, between the resource and services and linking them up.
here for 12 years in the community trying to make sure that every parent gets for their child what we all want for our children. This has devastated the whole community, including every office of the Action Center and after school program. You're moving mountains, helping to make sure that families get what they need. To all of the residents, we will rise and we will rebuild again, and the Action Center is not going anywhere. While it is important that we take time to look at what focused human effort can accomplish, sadly the work is not over. Funds from the 12-12-12 concert nor the Red Cross have made their way into this poor community. And groups like the Action Center are overwhelmed with trying to meet their needs. In addition to a lack of funds, supplies are drying up even as the suffering goes on. In June, 73% of homes still had mold. 20% have lost their jobs, 35% cannot make it to the end of the month with food, and the mental stress is unbearable. While the Action Center works to meet those needs, 150 Action Center kids must wait for the after-school program to reopen. Having learned from Katrina, what we don't take care of now we live with for a lifetime, we know we still need your help. Please help us keep the promise that we made just days after the storm.